dnavishonlineweatherblogs.com and your all. Let's hope everybody's Memorial Day was a good Memorial Day and a safe one. Let's take a look what's going on across this country. We have sweltering heat starting in the eastern United States. We have heat advisories up about Charlottesville. Up through the Philadelphia metro, you can see there's definitely air quality issues in Roanoke. Also, Philadelphia and New York City, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, you name it, air quality issues, bad ozone levels. And you can see we have a nasty weather going on tonight. Tornado watches and severe thunderstorm watches in the Midwest. We're talking about winds that have been over 90 miles an hour with some of these storms, and there's been a few isolated tornadoes. And we're going to get into the heat and then some uh, severe weather aspects of things. Post Memorial Day. Warm and sweltering is still around the Roanoke Valley. We're talking about 74 degrees still. Like this is the 1230 hour in the nighttime. 70 Staunton Hot Springs, Lewisburg. 76 degrees back in Bluefield. 71 down in Bristol. 75 in Gaylock. 73 in Martinsville. And 70 in Danville. Today we had record highs of 94 today in Roanoke and 90 in Blacksburg. So hot, hot weather. I've heard today, and we're going to be doing it again tomorrow, with temperatures going to be near 100 degrees here in the Roanoke Valley. And this is really confined to the leaf of our northern Maine, we're in the Intermountain West with 49 in Salt Lake City, 56 in Seattle, 56 in Los Angeles, 61 in Bangor. But other than that, you have 80s and 70s at this hour, 12.30 a.m. So, well, like we're saying, really hot, sweltery weather throughout most of the United States, high pressure in the east, just keeping that flow. We don't like some warm and moist, hot and humid conditions throughout. Coming up here. And as you can see, cloudless here in the East Coast. Plus, the heat being able to heat up extraordinarily during the day. Here. That's why we're getting this record high. Next area is all the way out in the Midwest. Where they're getting severe weather at this current time. Let's take a look at that. What's going on in Nebraska and South Dakota? That's going to be moving tomorrow into the area of Michigan, parts of Wisconsin, down to Illinois and Indiana, parts of Ohio. Hail and high winds, tornadoes, all possible. High winds going to be the biggest threat. That's like tonight, we've had the high winds over 90 miles an hour in many locations. We continue on. And that even makes it even worse here to the east coast of the United States where we have Philadelphia, New York City, Boston, all these big metro areas with the risk of severe weather coming up on Monday and Wednesday, and especially Springfield, Massachusetts, New York City, North, Burlington, Vermont. That's going to be your prime target area for severe weather on the day, on Wednesday. Beyond Wednesday, it doesn't look like it's going to have very much big severe weather events here. But, like I said, that can always change. You get these afternoon thunderstorms with heat. You sometimes can put down some hail, high winds, and isolate tornadoes by the curve. They never count them out. The look here is the tropical Atlantic Caribbean. You can see we have generalized moisture here in the Caribbean. It's shower and thunderstorm development. And this cloud goes out this way. Where the jet stream is kicked all the south. The dry air is influencing Florida. It's just sinking air. And we're getting this center from development here in the Gulf. And that's Gulf of Mexico with the Caribbean Sea. We'll have to keep an eye on this. This could uh, try to form into something. Some of the models have had some information futuristically in developing this. We'll have to see how it all plays out. I mean, we're getting into hurricane season, so we need to start watching this stuff. And Bob Caprio, as well as Levi Collin, will have your tropical information pretty much on a daily basis here at liveweatherblogs.com. The temperatures tomorrow, Tuesday, will be 98 degrees. I'm going to say we're going to hit over 100 in a lot of places just because I think we're going to get that standpoint. 95 on Wednesday with chance thunderstorms. Then we're back to 94 on Thursday. 91 on Friday. And lows around 70 degrees. Air quality, I have an issue. If you have an issue with asthma or anything like that, please stay indoors in the air conditioning. Do not over yourself either. That could be a big problem. And we've had some medical issues current with that situation. So be careful. We are a hundred degree day. Um, looks possible here in the Rhone Valley. And similar temperatures will occur in the triad and triangle regions. So stay with liveweatherblogs.com for all your latest weather information. Hope everybody's Memorial Day was good. For liveweatherblogs.com it's meteorologist Dean Davidson. 
Have a good night, and we'll talk again tomorrow.